Yeah, so for those who have Starlink and they want to use the internet with their TV or using internet cable, you want to share with their neighbor. So maybe you, you have a, uh, the internet adapter for Starlink and you want to share your internet with your neighbor or you want to share with your TV or your PC. Like mine here doesn't support wireless access unless you have an internet cable. So if you have it, if any other around you, like maybe this one here, so this uh, a tender, uh, a tender router, and uh, I, I want to show you how you are going to configure this. You use a register for this, and you'll be able to use these ports right here uh, to be able to access your internet on your um, TV, share with your neighbor using the internet cable. So uh, stick around, I'm going to show you using just this uh, Starlink router right here. Now we are having this Starlink router here, and this is the uh, the tender router. So I'm, I'm going to show you how you're going to connect these two, to, uh, to, for this one to access the picture for this, and you're going to use internet cable to connect to our PC, and the share, maybe if you want to share your internet, if you want to be an ISP around your place, I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. So uh, let's do it. So this this way I'm going to do the settings, and uh, I'm going to connect uh, with the right here. So you can come close with the camera. So this is this the internet. This one is uh, this for the Starlink dish, and this one is for the Starlink power cable. So I'm going to plug this in here. Um, as you can see, I'm going to plug here for the selling dish which is on the on the rooftop and then this the, for the power I'm going to plug in here as you can see this light here which means it's on so um let me just put this one here and then this one here this is an ethernet cable that is coming from my PC in there and I'm going to plug in right here on this uh, router and then I'm going to power the router on and uh, I'm going to put it closer because I want to to get as fast speed as possible so let me just put close with that and let it let them be on i'm going to set up the router in here and i'm going to show you how it's gonna be this is the cable that it goes directly to my setup in here so here's my setup and as you can see we have to configure the router so what you're gonna do i'm just going to uh let me show you you see i'm going to type in tender like that as you can see, I'm, I've logged in right here. And uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to, to go to uh, wireless repeating right here. Let me just focus on that. Wireless repeating. And then uh, you're going to choose a uh, universal repeater. So I've already done that. And then from here, you can see there's a multiple of networks. I'm going to choose this Starlink here, which I've already chosen. And then when you choose Starlink like this, it will prompt you to enter a password. So after you enter password, you click OK right here. Once you click OK, it will reboot. It will reboot and then after that, it will be OK. Now you will have access to the internet. So let's do a speed test and see how fast it gets. So as we all know, Starlink can get up to 200 Mbps, 150 Mbps. For mine, I always get 150 Mbps. But because I'm, I've used wireless access, I mean wireless repeating, I want to know how fast it gets. So let's click on speed speed test let's go to fast fast like that and then that's it let's see how fast we're going to get the internet using wireless speed as you can see this it's 13 mbps 18 3450 uh, around uh, 52 mbps which is not too bad because we don't have an ethernet i mean the starlink adapter for ethernet which is this one is okay and i can be able to be using it while i work on getting the Starlink uh, adapter. I'm going to it Mbps up, down, I mean download, and then uh, with the latency is pretty bad right here. So, and we are going to get around 10 Mbps up, which is okay. This is guys about the uh, using the your router, any router around you to access your Starlink uh, with the Ethernet adapter. If you don't have the, I mean with, with the Ethernet cable, if you don't have an Ethernet adapter. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share and follow. I mean share the videos for those who want to configure the same settings. And I'll be dropping more video about networking, programming, and more tech stuff. See you the next one.